The United States is in many ways a nation like no other. There is no shortage of truly remarkable things to say about the United States. From its status as the world's military superpower and one of the most affluent nations on the planet, to being home to one of the most diverse populations and the number one global exporter of entertainment, the list of the country's achievements never ends. Did you know there's a typo on the Liberty Bell? Or that Kentucky has more bourbon barrels than people? 24-7 compiled a list of 25 outstanding achievements to provide a small sample of notable American facts and feats. Number one, the current flag was created by a 17-year-old. Our current 50-star flag was designed by 17-year-old Robert Heff as part of a high school project. It was 1958 and there were only 48 states, but Heft had a feeling Hawaii and Alaska would be granted statehood soon. His teacher gave him a B-, but later raised the grade to an A after Heft submitted his design to the White House, resulting in a call from President Eisenhower announcing that it had been chosen as the official U.S. flag. Number two, they call it Lake Superior for a reason. Everyone knows Lake Superior is large. It's not called one of the Great Lakes for nothing, but few people know exactly how big it is. Lake Superior is not only the world's largest freshwater lake, but it holds three quadrillion gallons of water. That's enough liquid to completely submerge both North and South America. It's no surprise that Lake Superior has seen so many shipwrecks. Number three, the Constitution was not invented. You'd be mistaken if you thought Ben Franklin and the Founding Fathers came up with the Constitution on their own. They modeled it after the Iroquois Confederacy of the Native American Tribes Constitution. It's just one of the many Native American facts you probably didn't learn in history class. Number four, someone is still collecting a Civil War pension. The Civil War ended in 1865, but Irene Triplett collected a pension till 2020 when she passed away. Her father served in the war, which entitles Triplett, who is now almost 90 years old, to a survivor's benefit of $73.13 a month. One can only imagine Triplett has seen a great deal in her life and knows all about the triumphs and tragedies only military families can understand. Number five, George Washington never lived in the White House. Although George Washington chose the site of the White House in 1791, he never got to live in it. John and Abigail Adams were the first president and first lady to move into the White House, and it was still under construction at the time. Since then, every subsequent president has resided in the White House while in office. Number six, the deadliest job in the country is president. Statistically speaking, no job in the United States of America is more deadly than that of president. Think about it, 45 men have held the title, Four of those men were assassinated in office. Abraham Lincoln, John F. Kennedy, James A. Garfield, and William McKinley. While four died of natural causes. William Henry Harrison, Zachary Taylor, Warren Harding, and Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That's almost a rate of 18%, or nearly one out of five who died on the job. Would you apply for a job with those kind of stats? Number seven. The famous American doll, Barbie, was, in real life, Ken's sister. The diminutive Barbie is arguably the most famous doll in America, which makes sense since it came from California, where Ruth Handler invented the doll in 1959 and named it after her daughter, Barbara. It might not surprise you to learn that Handler also had a son named Ken. Number eight, the Americans have been setting off fireworks on July 4th for hundreds of years. The traditional 4th of July celebration started in 1777, one year after the Declaration of Independence was signed. Large celebrations took place in Pennsylvania and Boston and included fireworks. When fireworks became available to the public in 1783, the tradition spread even further. These cities have some of the most spectacular 4th of July fireworks shows. Number nine, eight of the 56 signers of the Declaration of Independence were British. 56 men signed the Declaration of Independence from England, eight of whom were actually British. Sure, the majority of the signers were native-born Americans, but eight were heralded from across the Atlantic. Two were from England, one from Wales, two from Scotland, two from Ireland, and one from Northern Ireland. Number 10. The Statue of Liberty isn't in New York. The Statue of Liberty 
which adorns pretty much every bit of touristic memorabilia you can purchase in the Big Apple, is not located in New York City at all. It's technically in Jersey City, New Jersey. Who knew? The copper statue was a gift from France to the United States in October 1886. Number 11. The Mall of America is owned by Canadians? The Mall of America, located in Bloomington, Minnesota, is owned by Triple Five Group, a company based in Edmonton, Canada. This Canadian company also came up with the idea of the mall and designed it. So really, despite its name, it's not so American after all. How's that for a surprise, eh? Number 12. Uncle Sam was a real dude. His name? Samuel Wilson, a meatpacker in Troy, New York, who fought in the American Revolution. He later became the official meat inspector for the Northern Army in the War of 1812. Wilson was given the nickname Uncle Sam for his good nature. According to Huff Post, when he started providing and inspecting meat for the troops during the War of 1812, the soldiers from Troy would joke that the initials U.S. label on the barrel stood for Uncle Sam. This idea was eventually expanded to all United States military items with U.S., and that's how Uncle Sam came to be. Number 13. California State Animal Doesn't Exist in California Before the mid-1800s, thousands of grizzly bears could be found across California, so much that the animal became the state's official animal. Nowadays, all of the grizzlies are gone. What changed then in the mid-1800s? If you guessed the state's gold rush, you are on the right money. Between then and 1922, Every living grizzly in the state of California was captured or killed, and all it got was a lousy flag. Number 14. The country's capital wasn't always Washington, D.C. As stipulated by the Residence Act, Philly was made to be the temporary capital of the newly created United States of America between 1790 and 1800, while Washington, D.C. was being built. Today, you can still find many famous pieces of early U.S. history in the city of Philadelphia. Number 15. The United States debt per person is $54,000. Ouch! Here are some more probably related stats. Approximately 48% of all Americans are currently either considered to be low income or are living in poverty. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York estimates that 167,000 Americans have more than $200,000 in student loan debt. The unemployment rate is currently 4%, according to most recent figures from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Number 16. Russia sold Alaska to the United States for pennies. Alaska is the largest state in the United States and was sold for a total of $7.2 million, which amounts to about two cents per acre. The state was purchased in 1867 in the 50 years that followed, America made their money back for the $7.2 million more than 100 times over. Talk about a quality buy. Number 18. Lincoln created the Secret Service on the day of his assassination. The president, who was assassinated on April 14, 1865, had signed legislation to create the U.S. Secret Service hours before he headed to Ford's Theater. However, the Secret Service wouldn't have saved Lincoln had it been created in time. The original purpose was to combat widespread currency counterfeiting. It wasn't until 1901 that its MO became to protect the president. Number 19. Paul Revere never actually shouted, The British are coming! While everyone knows the story of Revere's famous ride, in which he was said to have warned colonial militia of the approaching enemy by yelling, The British are coming! There are plenty of holes in the story. According to History.com, the operation was meant to be quiet and stealthy since British troops were hiding out in the Massachusetts countryside. Also, colonial Americans still considered themselves to be British. To be yelling about an impending invasion would be anything but stealthy. Number 20. Most Americans spend less than five years at each job. Why? It's because American employees are likely to leave their jobs for other companies in search of better benefits and higher salaries. Americans would rather get back on the market than stick it out for the long haul and hope for the best. In fact, per BLS figures, the typical baby boomer has held 10 jobs between the ages of 18 and 42. Number 21. 
the U.S. government poisoned people during Prohibition. You've likely heard how crazy some of the law enforcement of Prohibition laws could be, but it turns out the U.S. government literally poisoned alcohol in its effort to discourage drinking. When people continued to consume alcohol despite its banning, law officials got frustrated and decided to try a different kind of deterrent, death. They ordered the poisoning of industrial alcohols manufactured in the U.S., which were products regularly stolen by bootleggers. By the end of Prohibition in 1993, the federal poisoning program was estimated to have killed at least 10,000 people. Number 22. The word Pennsylvania is misspelled on the Liberty Bell. Too bad spell check didn't exist 300 years ago. Hey, we're just kidding, because the spelling used was actually an accepted form at the time the bell was engraved. Here are a few other fun facts. The strike note of the bell is an E-flat, and it weighs a whopping 2,080 pounds. Number 23. There's a town in Alaska that lives under one roof. The town of Whittier, Alaska is an hour southeast of Anchorage. It's a small town of around 220 people, and these 220 people all live under one roof in one building. For those who have privacy issues, this is probably not the town for you. Number 24. Americans simply love pizzas. It's no secret that Americans love pizza. However, it might surprise you to learn that we eat enough pizza every day to cover 100 acres. Total it up, and that's 3 billion pizzas a year. Sadly, no official data is available regarding how many of those pies were consumed due to Amazon billionaire Jeff Bezos' two-pizza rule. Number 25. Hollywood has been making movies for more than 100 years. There's a reason Hollywood is synonymous with the movies. Hollywood has been making films for over 100 years. The first movie made in Hollywood was The Count of Monte Cristo in 1908, although the movie was also partly filmed in Chicago. The first movie made entirely in Hollywood was a 1910 short film called In Old California. If you're a fan of the movies, you should plan your next vacation in one of these hotels where your favorite movies and TV shows were filmed. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed these unusual facts about the United States. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. We'll see you next time.